Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar L. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Diablo 3 on the Nintendo Switch. I actually got, I had a chance to play it, um, you know, at my friend's store. Uh, this isn't going to be released till November 2nd, so I wanted to see what the heck the whole hoopla was about. So we're going to get right to it, but first I'm going to just say for anybody new joining this, I already did three mini series, uh, you know, doing three mini series. One is already complete uh, based on whatever you guys request, which is how to build a gaming computer uh, or post-production for movies and stuff like that, uh, editing and stuff, or a uh, productivity computer on the cheap. That's already done. You could look at my channel that mini series is done now we're going to be doing the how to build a star killer helmet uh on the cheap again seven eight hundred dollars to a thousand for a good helmet i'm going to show you guys how to build it a little bit over 20 to, about 20 bucks to be honest with you maybe a little bit more uh and i'm going to show you guys how to paint it and everything and i'm going to be giving out uh doing a giveaway sweepstake giveaway of uh mario be sure be sure to uh tune in i'm going to tell you guys exactly how to get into that but um be sure to tune into that but uh it's a mario that holds the Nintendo Switch while it's charging and you could play or um, uh, you know you could put the cell phone in his hands and you know have it uh, I don't know filming you or put it on the side and charge it make it like a charging dock then we're going to go out to to the other mini series how to build a gaming slash post-production slash productivity desk on the cheap uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to build that. That's like about eight, nine hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars. I'm going to show you guys how to build it for a little bit over three hundred to a little bit over four hundred dollars. If you guys want what I have with drawers and everything else, so let's go right into this. And I'm going to be sorry, giving away the Noob Cybot mask and Scorpion mask. So definitely, you know. Keep those requests coming based on the magnitude. As always, I'm self-funded, so it's a little bit hard. But uh, based on the magnitude of how many requests I get for that video, uh, I mean for that topic, I will make a mini-series out of that and do a giveaway. Uh, so keep those requests coming. Um, and as always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Uh, that'll really help a lot as you'll be alerted uh, for any other truth videos to come from reviews to building to everything I do on this channel. So let's go right into this. So I got a chance to play uh, Diablo 3. Now, first off, I played Diablo 3 on the computer. I think there's nothing in the world. I don't care what console, uh, you know, console, uh, console it is. I don't care what anybody, you know, I've, I've seen it all. I've, I've played it all. Nothing beats the PC in, in terms of resolution, in terms of frame rates, in terms of everything. So, uh, I was a little bit skeptical, to be honest with you. I, I thought that, I, I mean, I didn't want to buy it. I'm not going to buy it because I played the hell out of it. I have all of them. I still you know, have a re it has replay value, and I keep playing it from time to time. Yes, it would be cool to play it on the go, but I was extremely skeptical. I thought there is no way these guys are going to achieve uh, 60 frames a second. I thought they were full of crap when they said that, to be honest with you. But you could clearly see in the game, uh, if you're playing it in portable at a 720, you're not going to notice any type of, you know, resolution kill you know what i mean like uh, uh degrading uh, in the re you know in, in resolution you're not going to notice that it's kind of really clean in your hands because it's a small screen i mean you if you look at the edges you'll kind of see stuff but you don't really pay attention to it and it manages to hold a 60 frame lock really well except uh i did have some issues in certain spots i don't know why but it would go into a slow and but uh, pretty much the game was very fluid at 60 frames a second. But, uh, you know, certain spots, something happened or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it could be sometimes the Nintendo Switch overheats or I, I don't know. I, I didn't notice that with other games I have, though. So uh, they did a good job in that. The thing is they decreased the resolution, which, to be honest with you, that's what I said they should have done with WWE 2K18. Decrease the resolution and you know, make the performance good, you know, at least 30 pr frames a freaking second would have been great, but they didn't do that, and this thing, they did a great job, they actually lowered the resolution down, and, uh, you you know, if you blow it up on a, on a 4K monitor, I'm gonna tell you, I wouldn't recommend uh, getting it for a Nintendo Switch if you, if you want to just play it in dock mode, because you will notice the resolution, you know, going straight down to hell if you played it on PC or on uh, other consoles. Now, uh, granted, if you never 
played it before, you will love this. You know, it's, it's just going to be one of those things. The thing is, um, as I was playing through the game, I was actually extremely surprised. All the characters are there. Everything, the design is a little bit different with the um, how the inventory is set up. It's much different than it was, uh, you know, on the computer, for example. So they really did it in a very good way. And I, I also didn't think they were going to pull it off with controls because I'm so, so used to playing with a mouse where you're just clicking. And I thought maybe they're going to just have it just on touch screen and you just touch it away and all of these things. I had no idea that it was going to be like this, but for some odd, unknown reason it worked out and it, it's just such a pleasure to play this game. It's insane. Like I, I don't know how to explain it. So I played as, you know, different characters, but it was it 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 felt so fluid. I can't believe they actually did such a good job. And to take this on the go. Now, I know the biggest downer a lot of people in forums are talking about is Yo, bro, what up, man? It's 60 freaking dollars. What the hell for a port that came out years ago, from years ago? You know, what the hell's up with that? But if you guys uh, want to get technical, the, uh, you know, Reaper of Souls didn't come out that long ago, you know? And also at the same time, you are getting, they are still, unless you get them on sale, but the retail value is $20 per uh, per game. And, you, you know, per, per uh, even the... Um, you know the reaper of souls added to it and everything you're paying 20 per per uh, game that is combined together extension whatever and so you're getting the full game over here so it is 60 bucks you're getting all three of them plus a little extras i'm not going to ruin it for y'all but uh in terms of difficulty this is the weird part um i don't know why but it felt much easier than playing it on the computer. I think the difficulty was kind of lacking. I really wish it was harder because I love to play it on like, you know, the ultra hard and like, and then, you know, you're running around and you got to escape and shoot, shoot, shoot and run away and all that. I found this one to be like, you could just step right up to them, keep killing them and shooting them. And, and uh, you know, again, this was pretty early in the game, but still even early in the game, you're starting out with low experience and, you know, you're not up there yet to attack fast. And when I'm playing it on PC, I find myself always, kill, you know, shooting, shooting, running away, and sometimes even dying. And this one, it was like such a breeze. You're just like walking through it and just shooting and killing all of them, uh, doing backflips or rolling through and just like dealing with it. So in terms of difficulty, I found it extremely easy, uh, to be honest, uh, in the game. I wish it was, uh, it had an opportunity, you know... A I wish it had a higher difficulty level. Again, this is just early. Maybe when they release the game, it's going to be different. I'm sure it's the same. But they're going to release probably updates and make it uh, harder. Another thing I was really uh, miffed about, and this, of course, happened on PC too uh, in the end. But in the beginning, when they came out with it, I made a lot of money. So I found these rare uh, you know, swords and rare wands. And I would sell it in the marketplace. And I would make actual real money off it where people would go right into your PayPal account and pay you. I made about, wow, close to, what was it, over... Uh, uh, close to three thousand something dollars uh, back when it first came out, and then of course on PC they screwed it up and said screw you, and they ended it and made it just where you're paying with coins and crap, which I really was pissed off about. I thought it was such a, uh, a dick move on their end. Uh, on their end, I really thought it was so stupid that they did that. But I was kind of hoping. I don't know. Even though you know I knew it would it wasn't gonna happen, I was kind of hoping it would come out for the uh, Nintendo Switch when it when it came out and they'd surprise us by saying well guys here you can make your money back and you know pay to be honest I think that was one of their stupidest decisions ever because people even I know that didn't even care about Diablo went and bought the game just to do that so they can make some money on the side in gaming I know so, uh, some people that were even in Diablo 1 and 2 back in the day would sell it on eBay these rare you know uh, before they did the hacking and stuff but uh, these rare uh, uh, you know, uh, weapons and stuff like that. Not Diablo 1, Diablo 2. And, uh, you know, we made a lot of money off it back in the day. And uh, we also made a lot of money off Diablo 3. And it's just a shame that Nintendo didn't bring it in. Uh, again, it's not Nintendo's fault. It's because, you know, the original makers of the game took it out. So uh, I don't think, you know, they wanted it in. But I think they're pretty stupid for doing that because people actually, you know, bought the game for that, for that you know, for the sake of that. And I think it would be really cool. It's like a treasure hunting game. And I was kind of miffed that they didn't have it. Even though I kind of expected it. It kind of pissed me off that they uh, didn't have that option. Uh, other than that, it's a great game. Uh, it is worth the $60 price point if you look. I mean, sure you could get the PC games cheaper if you find the deal or whatever. But 
60 bucks it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty uh, big bargain when you could take this game on the go now i played the crap out of it so i have some replay value that i would rather play it on the computer now if you're going in a dock mode i recommend you just buy it for the computer and you'll you'll have a great time a better time than on the nintendo switch if you're taking it out you're gonna have a way better time uh i actually had a killer time playing it uh, on a nintendo switch on the go i thought that was pretty freaking awesome even though we had to do it in the store also the cool part about it is they have this thing where you could you know you could connect to anybody who has a nintendo switch and each one has their own screen so he had a Nintendo Switch, I had a Nintendo Switch, and you could join together through a local game, you know, so that's pretty freaking, uh, it's pretty freaking cool. I couldn't do the online, obviously, to test it out because the game's not out yet, so that's not going to work out. But uh, other than that, it, it played pretty freaking awesome, and I think for the most part, it was 60 frames a second. Uh, again... Um, they had parts, whatever, but uh, it, it was operating extremely well. Now, this is what I got to rate it, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. The game is worth the price. 10 out of 10, definitely, for a $60 price point on this game. Another thing is, it is 10 out of 10 in terms of gameplay. Yeah, sure, a little bit of slowdowns happen, but again, I don't know what to blame it on. It could be anything else, but everything else stayed pretty locked down. And it was funny, because you had some... Uh, times where my frame uh, rates dropped a little bit, but then, you know, where you kind of notice it a bit because you're picky, you know, whatever. But then you have other moments where you have a ton of monsters and, and you didn't have any issues at all. So I don't know. Again, I don't want to say anything, but for the most part, it's 60 frames a second. They have achieved it. And I think when you're playing it on a 4K monitor, you're not going to like it if it's a big one, like I have like a 42-inch or, or even anywhere. You're not going to like to have it in dock mode. I don't think you're going to you're gonna like the resolution. It looks like, you know, even Breath of the Wild, I love Breath of the Wild, but when I play it on a big screen, a giant screen, it, you know, all the imperfections is highlighted, the jagged edges and stuff like that. It just doesn't look good. And this one especially did not look good at all uh, when it's blown up on a big screen. But again, in a smaller screen and you're taking it on the go, you don't notice really anything unless you're like looking right in it. Uh, you're not going to notice anything, and it's totally worth it. So what do I have to say? 10 out of 10, definitely. You know, Kudos to you guys. Now, do I recommend it? Well, here's the thing. If you guys played Diablo 3 on a computer before, and you have it for the PC... I don't recommend buying it right now. Wait till it lowers down in price and then get it. It's still worth the $60 price point, but if you already have it, I would wait um, because you are getting, uh, again, if you're playing it in dock mode, it's, I mean, I wouldn't get it at all. I would wait till it's like 20 bucks or 30 or whatever. Uh, if you have it already, I'm saying. If you, did, if you never played it before, I recommend getting this game right away. You are going to love it. This game will keep you busy for a long ass time because you're going to be playing through all the levels and you're going to want to see, you know, all the characters. You're going to play with all the characters. So I think that's going to be really cool and a great opportunity for y'all uh, if it's a first time play. I think you're going to really enjoy it better than anybody who played it before. You're going to love it a lot. Uh, but I am going to say, those of you guys that owned it, I think we should wait a little. There's money better spent on other games that are coming out, like Smash and other games in general. Uh, don't forget, there's going to be two Directs in November. Let's see what the heck they got ready for us there. Maybe we should save our money for that. If you have some extra cash to spend, go ahead and do that. Uh, it is worth it. You are going to get a kick, you know, playing it on the go. But I just played the hell out of it. I don't know if I would pay $60 knowing I own it already, uh, to, to pay 60 bucks again for the whole series just for the opportunity to play it on the go. Sure, it's a cool idea, but I would pay like 30 maybe, 40 even I'd probably pay, but I, I wouldn't pay the $60 mark uh, uh, for it, even though it's a totally fair price. I totally agree. Uh, the game is great. So, uh, again, 10 out of 10. It's up to you guys. Let me know down below what you guys think, but uh, I love the Diablo series in general, and I thought this was good. I just didn't like that they had uh, you know, Diablo. I'm not, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but it's not as good as 1 and 2 for me, but I loved Diablo 3 as well. And uh, uh, for you guys that thought Diablo 4 is uh, is going to be coming out soon, it's not going to be coming out. I'm just going to flatline this one right now by telling you guys this because uh, my friend in GameStop also said there's no way it's coming out, but I said it too from my other video. They are going to try to milk it for all it's worth. And as you saw what they did with Diablo 3, they're going to port it to anything they can. And to be honest, they should even port it probably to a touchscreen on a cell phone. But the thing is, 
on a Nintendo Switch, they're going to wait about a year before they release it. Maybe 2019, maybe 2020, late, you know, or holiday 2019 or 2020. But the point is they're not going to come out with it now because they're going to try to milk it. Otherwise, nobody's going to buy it for the Switch when Part 4 is coming out. It's going to be so stupid. People are going to say, why isn't 4 out? So just totally debunk this thing. Uh, don't even think about it. Don't give it too much mind. But um, that's pretty much it. So if you guys didn't play it, go ahead and get that damn game. It's worth every penny. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. As always, self-funded, giving you nothing but truth here. The only thing I ask is that you help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button as it'll alert you of many more videos to come. And on top of that, uh, please do comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.